Teddy, thanks for taking time out from your afterlife to help us Republicans. Please don't call me Teddy. I said long ago that a thorough knowledge of the Bible is worth more than a college education. I can't believe I, I said that. I'm guessing you will play the Bible card. I play the Bible card every day. It works, and sometimes it doesn't work. Go back to what our founding fathers and our founding documents say. They are quite clear that we would create law based on the God of the Bible and the Ten Commandments. Americans know that. It doesn't work when a big star like Matt Damon thinks I am a moron. I take a lot of crap from people like him. Where did you get an idea like that? The Founding Fathers wrote a blueprint for a democratic government. It is a sophisticated document that has little to do with the Bible. Maybe you should brush up on your knowledge of the Constitution. Now you are making fun of me like Matt Damon. I am glad that this is just between you and me. It would be bad for me if it got out that Teddy Roosevelt was not on my side. I need to show you the real Sarah, the folksy girl. Why don't we go out for a pheasant hunt? I'm pretty good with a gun. And I promise I'll wear my low-cut hunting vest. How can I trust that you are responsible with a gun? I heard that Vice President Cheney shot his friend instead of a pheasant. I am not so sure I trust you to be a straight shooter. I was once shot in the chest right before a speech. I remember saying ladies and gentlemen, I don't know whether you fully understand that I have just been shot, but it takes more than that to kill a bull moose. Just don't confuse me with a moose if I decide to go hunting with you. By the way I will be pleased to see you in that vest. Teddy, you are my folksy red-blooded American hero. You and I are so alike. We both like to shoot the moose. We are like brother and sister. I despise being called Teddy for your information. The only thing we have in common is that we both shot a moose. I resent the comparison. By the way, the bull moose party is not a franchise so I forbid you to use it. Silly me. We want the name and might change it to something like the bully pulpit moose party. I hope you don't mind. We might need a backup in case the tea party becomes perceived as what it really is. A bunch of wackos. I don't get it. You really are planning to run for president. You'd better believe it. Fuck, what is this the Twilight Zone? What makes you think you can run this country without paying your dues? I spent a lifetime in politics before I was ready to be president. I was New York City Police Commissioner, Assistant Secretary of the Navy, Governor of New York, and Vice President, before I became president. I understand that you were mayor of a small rural town in Alaska and governor of Alaska. What did you learn in your four years as governor? I now know how to raise taxes, lower taxes, change positions on issues as needed. I know how to survive taking conflicting positions. I use what I call my foxy folksy executive factor. I am a proponent of big hair and uplift. A governor needs to be able to offer distractions when necessary. This is how I keep my audience riveted. To be honest, I did not serve up my term as governor. I quit two years into it to become a best-selling author. I have been accused of ethics violations while I was governor. I came out clean and I am ready for the presidency of the United States of America. You have revealed to me that you are not a person of much substance. I have said many times character, in the long run is the decisive factor in the life of an individual and of nations alike. I think you have me confused with someone else. I am the chosen one. Chosen by God and the Republicans. I refudiate those who think otherwise. I know the word refudiate is a non-word. The two words refute and repudiate, you combined them. Many times that will happen and people will confuse combinations of words. John McCain mistakenly combined the words Vice President and Palin. Refadiate, misunderestimate. English is a living language. Shakespeare liked to coin new words too. Got to celebrate it. There is a vast difference between you and Shakespeare. He invented new words with new meanings. You simply made up a word with the same meaning as repudiate. Teddy, you have become my harshest critic. I am worried now. I despise being called Teddy and you've done it three times. If you don't believe me look it up on Wikipedia. Listen, you called me up from my comfortable perch in heaven for advice. 
I can tell you this. Drop your request for the presidency. You are not qualified. You can ask the guy sitting behind us if you don't believe me. I know you think he was one of the least qualified presidents in history who turned out to be the best. I assure you, this is not your fate. And besides, you are a multi-millionaire mother of five kids. Be happy with what you've got. Give it a rest. Matt Damon was right. This is not good. You are not the Republican I thought you were. I don't want this conversation to go anywhere, do you understand? Do you?